Welcome to Good Morning Madness. What does this mean for us? We face a lot of stereotypes, expectations, all kinds of things like that in this world. And I'd love to hear from you, Jonathan, around this concept of stereotypes and toxic masculinity, because mm. a lot of the times we have seen, even just in getting this show going in, the Beast Note, of there's too much masculine energy. You need to tone it down. There's too much mm. of this. And it's a really weird conversation. Um, and I know, Jonathan, you have a really ex- unique perspective of dealing with this and would love to just kind of hear what type of stereotypes have you faced in your life and how have you managed that? I grew up with like superheroes that had all these giant, huge muscles, you know, like He-Man and Hulk Hogan and The Rock and, you know, all of these heroes that that really, pers- Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, Sylvester mm-hmm. Stallone, they really personified in a very traditional context what it means to be a man. And women were kind of demonstrated to be kind of like the damsel in distress. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's almost impossible for us to not be, um, not be influenced by that, even mm. in adulthood, because that's what we were used to seeing. And then on top of it, I came from a very like uh, chauvinistic household. My parents mm. were very traditional in the sense that dad went to work, mom stayed home and took care of the kids. So, you know, as I was growing up and kind of what I saw, I was, I, I gravitated towards that. I gravitated towards like a man being a man. And it's not just holding a door open, but almost trying to be like the hero. And I really, over the last few years, had to kind of take a step back and recognize the fact that, you know, these women can hold their own. We don't always need to be the hero of the story. We don't need to always be saving them, you know? This is madness. It's madness, I tell you. And it feels so good.